All right, guys, so welcome to the PFL Music Podcast. This is your host, Paolo Yuri Vargas. You're listening to the podcast in Anchor.fm or any other platforms uh, that, you know, Spotify, Pandora, Apple Music, all that stuff. Just make sure you just give a simple click of play. That will help the podcast. If you listen to the podcast and, you know, YouTube, Rumble, and Bitch, hey, make sure that you subscribe and i'm gonna really appreciate it today podcast is uh episode 138 practicing piano late at night for those people that know i'm a musician first and foremost um right now i want to just speak about practicing late at night because that's the only time that i have to practice piano and what kind of repertoire i'm just working so right, right now i'm working in chopin attitudes especially the one two and three and what I'm noticing is there's a common denominator in those oh, three, and especially the fingers five, four, three, right? Just to make sure that you got these three fingers strong, right? Even though the first one, sorry for that. Even though the first one show you to be flexible with open hand and close hand, open hand and close one, right? When you go to your page from from C major extended with a 10, right? So you open up, uh, opening up the hand and closing it up, opening up, closing it up, opening up, closing it up. So right now I'm just giving a different approach and just um, studying Alfred Courtois, um technique to make sure that uh, the music is even. But I'm also making sure that I'm using the metronome at very slow uh, speed, All right? making sure that all the notes are there, right? And I'm not going up on uh, the speed and I'm making sure that my hands and my body can feel the technique, which is more important. Why I'm practicing piano late at night? That's, um, that's, that's the question. I'm always the, uh, always being a, pra- a late practitioner, practitioner since I was in college. I would do a lot of things in the beginning, in the morning, evening, and then I would do my stuff, and later at night, which is practicing piano. Uh, for me, right now, the most important thing is to make sure that that's consistency. Uh, even though I, I have improved a lot, I have improved. I have improved slowly, not fast enough, like I want to. Right, my technique has gotten better, but it it, it could have got more and more efficient and tying tying this to a lot of things that i do i remember when i used to just teach my students telling them like hey with simple 10 minutes a day that you practice listen you can achieve a lot of things i put in that to myself in my case an hour and a half or two hours of practicing piano and in a couple a couple days of being very consistent playing the instrument and i have noticed a very good good improvement especially in those three three fingers three four five because what i want to do is not only manage to master the etude but acquire the technique right you can fake it through a lot of exercise right fake it but are you acquiring the technique that's my point and that goes as well with life are you hacking through life or are you learning what the life is giving you techniques are very important because it gives you security not only security um it gives you a stronger stand when it comes to those obstacles right so the piano we have different obstacles we have um yeah scales right we had uh, arpeggios, we had double thirds, six octave, and so in chords, right? So on and so forth, right? You can confront a piece and make sure that when you confront that piece, you see it as a piece, as the one form, or you see a piece with different technique being expressed in different manners. So when you see this technique, you already have them. So you don't have to worry about it. So when you go through the entire piece, you can give the story that it deserves. It's the same with sale. 
and sell when you learn the technique you can teach it when you teach the technique you can enjoy it and you start understanding what's the process of sale you understand that sales is not only one side of the equation it's many sides of the equation and I wanted to just give that opinion about practice piano and what's my experience right now the second etude which is a minor the chromatic scale it feels very good in my hand uh, and I enjoy just to really going slow make sure everything is legato right and I'm just using the metronome very religiously I don't care what people say with the, the thing that musical taste is not there don't care about that I'm caring about just make sure that I just play everything correctly and enjoy it. This is the way I enjoy it. This is the way I'm going to do it. Simple as that. I'm not going to college and all that stuff right now, so I don't care. Um, and the same thing I will be with, with sales. Um, sales, there's a lot of requirements for you to do technique, right? There's posture, there's voice, there's tonality, there's, there's control, there's letting control. There is uh, taking control of the conversation. All those things really take a take a piece of techniques. And the only bad side in this story is that when you do practice late at night, you you practicing with a tired brain since you already used the brain for early activities. And in my experience, I prefer to practice when it comes when it occurs when it comes to just retaining information in the morning is the best way. That's why I read in the morning, try to listen to my motivational um, material in the morning because that's the first thing I retain, and it does determine how I just live my day. So having that experiment show me where where my brain is. No, if I know if I can just hack it out where at night I can just be equally productive when I go to my mornings, I'm just killing two birds with one stone. My brain is ready, I'm ready. Okay, so that's what is going on right now with my prime piano practice. Um, practicing playing at uh, late at night, and it seems like you know, it's still, I'm still having good results. I'm not gonna lie. So hopefully from there we can just keep improving and just start sharing the musical taste and musical uh, talent that I have with a lot of folks. But this guy had to just really go. Uh, this is a short one since uh, tomorrow I have to just go to the doctor with my wife. No, I'll help her out. Uh, she had to go out to stay with the baby. But for this I would just want to just give my opinion of this and how do I feel when I just practice late at night. And so that's how it is. Uh, hopefully I can just give, like I said, repertoire and just enjoy this great, great, great adventure of being a, mus a musician. With this, guys, this was your PFR Music Podcast, your host, Paulo Yervis Vargas. I'm out. Peace.